Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Randy with ETX Real Service and Repair. And today we are going to disassemble the Cash King Recon 20RH. This is a 3, a three plus 1 ball bearing reel. And today we're just going to take it apart. And uh, I'm going to start by doing that by removing the... Uh, the nut cap, <clears throat> remove the handle. And uh, take this time to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, for those that, uh, that watch my videos and are not subscribed to the channel, I urge you to do so. To subscribe. Uh, I'll take off that. And under here we have a spring. And under this you also have a stack of washers. This has a spring here and then <clears throat> inside your star drag adjuster it fits down in there and there's fits around these notches here that's how that fits down in there and it's it's made to accept the spring it sits in there just like so now for the washers It looks like you have two flat washers and you have two concave washers. And I'm going to leave them just like that. A little dirty, looks like a little salt build up on them, not much. Now this <clears throat> reel uses uh, torque screws instead of just your average your regular screw and right one in a second. That's what I like about my little screwdriver set here. The little Linux. Pick that up at Lowe's. It's a, a set. And it is a ratcheting. Now we'll take the screws out and lay them out here. I'm going to go ahead and take this spool of tensioner out. Just unscrews. There's a spring in there. And there's looks like a washer in the bottom there. So you want to make be careful not to lose that. Laying the screws out. I want to make sure they're all the same. In this case, I know they are. Because to, to be perfectly honest, this reel is mine. <clears throat> I've had it about a year. It has been serviced once. 
uh, but I, <clears throat> I've only fished with it one time after I serviced it, and that was in salt water. So uh, I hosed it down with fresh water after that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, service it again. Now we have that the main gear side off. There's what you see, and we'll get to taking that apart. We'll remove the spool, and you'll see you have a bearing here on the spool. Probably not a real need to take this side apart, but just so everyone can see, I'm going to take it apart. I purchased this reel, you know, Cash King. I have not had any experience with their products. Like I said, I've only taken this reel out once. It seemed to be okay. I didn't really have any issues with it. And there is your clicker side plate. And if you want to remove your <clears throat> remove your pole and uh, line guide, there is a C clip here, and then there's two screws over here. See, it's got a clip it helps to hold that in place. And this little bar, it it just slides out. And put it back in just like so. Right. Now let's disassemble the uh, the main gear. We'll get down to the main gear, taking off the bridge. And if you're going to do this, I would recommend. Uh, that you get a schematic. I do have a schematic for this reel. And now let's go ahead and remove the bridge. I need to get a different screwdriver. And you do have a spring here over this post, and that is for your anti-reverse. So we're going to go ahead and remove that spring from around that post and just leave it on the anti-reverse. And now we should be able to lift our cover out off. And there 
there's our main gear dragged and you do have a bearing in here and a washer so you just want to be leery of that it came from here Now we have two springs. I'll go ahead and remove the drag. And you also have a sleeve. There's our last drag washer. And there is our main gear and our hard washer underneath it. Looks to be like a Teflon washer. There is our yoke and our pinion gear. And you can remove this click ratchet. It is held in place by a clip. This can be removed, but the important thing to remember is the direction that these teeth were going. So always make a note of that. Go ahead and take off the That's the that's your spring for your anti reverse, and then this is your anti reverse dog, and it sits right on this post right here, right there, just like this. And that's how it sits. But we're going to go ahead and take this off. 
And now we can remove the uh, Well, to be honest with you, we don't really have to remove anything else. All this can be cleaned in place. But what you want to remember with this particular reel is the way they've set this up. This is what gives you your free spool, and it, it disengages and engages the reel. Is that this yoke will sit in there... With one, two, I got it upside down. Hang on. I put it in upside down. It will have one, one of those posts will be on the bottom and the other one will be on top. So just always remember that when you reinstall your yoke and pinion gear. But I think that has uh, just about covered it. As far as how this reel comes apart, and I think that'll cover all of it, and we'll get her cleaned up, and we'll be back with uh, the reassembly video. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day. I forgot to show y'all one thing, so I'm going to add this to the video. When you remove, you need to remove your your uh, gear shaft it's held on with a uh, a C-clip or E-clip on this particular reel you would need to take it off because there is a bearing back here and uh, it will need to be serviced and uh, and there's the bearing, and also be careful, make, be mindful of uh, the little washer. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to bring the update, give you that little update.